Hello there and welcome to another of my top 5s. Today we are going to be looking at the craziness that is Japanese anime. Anime is one of those things that's sort of like a wild west of entertainment, from the ridiculously weird and insane to the pure action and drama spectacles. The rules of this list were simple. These series had to have been made for TV, so no OVAs or web series count here. Don't worry, I'll avoid spoilers. So here we go with my personal top 5 anime TV series. First airing between 1990 and 91, this charming action-packed series is about a young girl, obviously enough named Nadia, travelling across the world with her pet lion called King, her man friend Jean, and a whole host of other crazy characters. This is one of the few animes that has real and unidentifiable character development across the entire series, with the somewhat arrogant and close-minded main character becoming more worldly and open, the boyish carefree Jean learning of what being an adult really means, and villains becoming friends. In addition, there is the young Marie, who due to a plot point it won't reveal, joins the pair on their adventures, adding a realism to the consequences of many of their actions that most shows will simply ignore. The story is also very unique, featuring exploits that blur the line between sci-fi and fantasy and historical fiction. This is an extremely good series that in places is funny, sad, intense and gripping. The only reason it is number 5 on this list is that it falls victim to what many great shows do a series of filler episodes that stand out. Luckily, they don't impact the show too much and are still very watchable, however, they do stop it from reaching perfection. So, what about it? Tell me, tell me, look. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just need a break. From all the drama, the annoying realities, and you just need a laugh. A show about girls at a Japanese high school initially sounds cliche and boring, but luckily, Azumanga is incredibly unique. It's essentially a slice of life comedy, about nothing really, a series of small sketches that have a common plot thread throughout an episode. There isn't particularly an overarching story, it's just the crazy antics of these girls' lives. The comedy is quaint and peaceful, and it is one of those shows that can give you endless enjoyment. Despite being all about girls, it doesn't fall into the common sexist traps that many anime can, so you can watch it guilt free. Go out and enjoy it. A good show can be made and lost on the back of its main character. If they are too moody or unrealistic, it just gets boring. And the same goes for the unrealistically positive ones. Vash the Stampede is a character that at his root is a kind-hearted and carefree, yet has a huge amount of burden on his shoulders, leading to some dark and depressing moments that would affect anyone under the conditions. Trigon is essentially his story. Set on a desert planet that humans have inadvertently colonised, it fuses sci-fi and western themes to create a particularly unique look to surround all the action. Most of the early series comes from the misadventures surrounding Vash and the people trying to catch him for the bounty on his head and his ability to save everyone involved. There is just the right balance of light-hearted comedy and drama to keep the show engrossing and the excellent style and characters make the show particularly memorable. It's not often that animes can convey realistic emotions during real life situations but this is where Trigon excels. Tenchi Moyo is one of those franchises that has become bigger than the series that it is based on, having spin-offs into almost every category, multiple series, movies and OVAs, and expansions into other media such as games and books. However, this initial series takes everything that made the original OVA so great and expands on it. Harem anime featuring a number of girls in love with an awkward teen boy are a dime a dozen, but Tenchi has something almost the others don't, a real heart. The female characters are actually given real backstories, personalities, and not simply damsels in distress, but carry most of the action throughout the series. This is important, because many animes of this kind seem to think that making attractive female characters dress in next to nothing and give them basic tropes will make a show. It doesn't. The dynamic between characters is what makes the show great, with it often being hilarious and charming at the same time, and managing to avoid the danger of becoming annoying, or delving into super deformed faces constantly that many modern anime seem to love. The plot is an interesting sci-fi tale, taking place across three distinct sections, one on Earth, one across time, and one across the galaxy. These sections consistently do one thing, they leave you wanting far more. 
By the end of the series, you feel like you've been on an adventure too, and find it difficult to leave their universe, just wanting to start the series over. TNT TV is just consistently likeable and timeless. Cowboy Bebop is one of those shows that simply gets everything right. From the initial theme music, Tank, you know you're watching something special. Every episode is somewhat themed around a different style of music, from slow jazz to hard rock, that all plays into an epic space-bearing storyline that is both heavy on the action and with enough comedy and drama to keep it enthralling. The overall arc of this series is perfectly formed and is extremely difficult to put down. The characters are all very distinct and have fairly unique backgrounds, Spike and Jet are the initial main characters and owners of the Bebop, both having troubling backgrounds that they refuse to talk about that lead them into becoming bounty hunters. Further characters are introduced that are not what you might expect from appearance, with their backgrounds being both interesting and deep at the same time. The adventures of this ragtag crew take place across the galaxy and often feature them getting wound up in various people's problems while simply chasing a bounty, all playing into a bigger story. Bebop is one of those series I would recommend even to people that are not fans of anime, so whoever you are in the world, get out and watch it.